What's up guys? Welcome to another weekly episode of Certified Talk. This week I wanted to do a certified talk to you, the person who thinks it's too late to achieve your dream. So over the past week, I've gotten great feedback from last week's video. Thank you guys so much for taking the time to go ahead and communicate with me. And one of the things that I've saw throughout my communication was a lot of people said, hey Chris, I have this dream, but I think it's too late for me to accomplish it. Like I'm older, I'm an adult now, I've got real responsibilities. It's time for me to stop dreaming. It's time for me to stop chasing that. Do you have any advice for me? So this week, I wanted to talk to you the person who thinks it's too late to achieve your dream. So, I know what that's like to think that it's too late for you to achieve your dream. Sometimes we get so caught up in the hustle and bustle of everyday life that we forget that dreaming is possible. We forget that you know we can accomplish anything we really put our mind to and some of us actually feel guilty for even trying to achieve that. So I wanted to give you guys three tips for anybody out there who thinks it's too late for them to achieve their dream. The first tip that I want to give you is I want you to take some time this week, 10, 15 minutes top. If you could do it after you watch this video, that would be great. I want you to take some time though and sit in a quiet place and I want you to write down for 10 to 15 minutes everything that you feel you have majorly accomplished in your life. I don't care how small it is. I don't care how big it is. If it means something to you, and when you look back at your life that you accomplished, I need you to write it down. I need you to lay claim to it, okay? And the reason I want you to do that is because I think so many times people forget just how amazing they really are. Like people forget all the stuff that they accomplished, right? Like uh, I know for me, sometimes I forget, like I even graduated college, I took it, I take it for granted every day because it, you know, it's something that I did years ago. Or sometimes I personally even forget that I had a weight loss journey, that I lost 160 pounds. You know, like what is that to you? What did you forget that you accomplished that you worked so hard to do? So take some time this week and remind yourself, and it could be that you had kids or you got married or you got that promotion. And maybe sometimes we just get stuck in a rut of chasing, you know, every day of going through that hamster wheel. We forget all the stuff that we were able to accomplish. So this week, I want you to take 10 to 15 minutes and revisit all of the past accomplishments that make you who you are today. Okay? So tip number two is I want you to find a way for you to get close to that dream closer to it in some capacity. Now, I don't know what that is. Maybe you go to Barnes and Noble and you buy a book on it. Maybe you search and you find a podcast. Maybe you watch a YouTube video about it. Maybe you call someone who's in the field or living the dream that you want and you just communicate with them. See, I think sometimes when we dream, we put the dream so far out there that we really forget that it's even capable for us to do it. And I'm here to tell you guys, any dream that you have can be accomplished. It may take work, it may take long, but it can be done. So one of the things I want you to do this week is find some small way to get closer to the dream that you think it's too late for. Because what you'll see is when you visit your dream, you get fired up about it. You get really passionate about it, okay? It inspires you. You're like, man, I don't know why this matters to me, but it does. I'll give you an example for that. Obviously, you guys know motivational speaking is my thing. But every day, I take time out of my day, 10 to 15 minutes, and I watch someone else give a motivational speech. I watch somebody else on stage. I, I go visit somebody else's website or look at their Instagram or check out their Instagram live. And why do I do that? Because it inspires me to get closer to the dream that I had. Watching somebody else live out the dream that I want inspires me to go and get it, okay? All right, so that was tip number two. Now, tip number three, what I want you guys to do this week is I want you to claim your dream. I don't care how old you are. I don't care if you're 18 or I don't care if you're 80. I want you to lay claim to your dream this week and I want you to write down, another time of writing stuff down, but I want you to write down what would it mean to you if you accomplished your dream? What would it mean to you if you got to finally hit that climax of everything that you has like fired your soul up? And then after you find out what it means to you, I want you to write down what it would mean to the people that you love. What would it mean to your community if they got to see you live out your dream? See, 
I think one of the reasons why, and I truly believe this, one of the reasons why we give up on our dreams so much or we say it's too late for our dreams is because we think the only person who the dream affects is ourselves. And I'm here to tell you that there's nothing farther from the truth than that. See, the world needs to see your greatness. Whatever your dream is, if it's to be a singer, if it's to be an actor, if it's to be a musician, if it's to be a teacher, if it's to be a college graduate, whatever that dream is, you were given that dream for a reason. You were given that dream because you are now responsible for showing other people what it's like when you get to achieve success. And I know that seems weird, but let me use myself as an example. Okay, obviously I have a dream to be a motivational speaker, but I also understand that my dream affects other people. My dream affects my wife, my dream affects my parents, my dream affects my students, right? If I show them an example of what it's like and how I can go after it, then aren't I empowering them too? So the third tip I want you guys to do this week is I want you to take some time and lay claim to your dream and understand the importance of what your dream is. Because when you see that your dream not only affects you, but it affects others, it really lights a fire in you to go after it. So thank you guys this week for watching the video, the certified talk to you, the person who thinks it's too late to achieve your dream. Hopefully, after watching this video, you're like, you know what, maybe it's not too late. Maybe I need to give it a chance. Maybe I need to, to listen to this guy on YouTube, right? So if you liked my video at all and you felt moved or inspired at all, please do me a small favor and click the like button at the bottom of this screen. And if you felt motivated with the last two videos of Certified Talk, if you could do me a little favor and click the subscribe button, I would greatly appreciate it. It really just lets me know that I'm doing a good job. And if you have anything, anything on your heart that you ever need me to address or talk about or need me to go ahead and record a video about, please, please feel free to send me a DM on Twitter or a DM on Instagram or even check out my website cgmotivation.com and send me an email through there. Thank you guys so much and I hope in some small way I'm inspiring you to chase that ever elusive greatness in your life because I don't want you to settle. I want you to be able to live the life of your dreams. So thank you guys so much. Much love to all my community out there and we will be back with another video next week. Thank you guys so much. Much love. Keep staying certified for greatness. We'll see you next week.